Hi there, I am Nirmal from MegaEngineering.com. So basically, I am today going to show you how you can use WP Responsive Menu Pro plugin. So here you can see we have this page, and you can actually get the plugin from here. So once you have the plugin, you can install and activate it. So you can see here I have already installed and I have not activated it. So let's first go to our website and see how it looks like. Currently, this is the theme menu. So like uh, they came with the theme. So I'm going to activate my plugin and see how it looks like. So once you activate the plugin, it will automatically add a new menu onto your site. As you can see, we have a new menu here. And this is basically a WB responsive menu. So now let's go to the different configuration of this plugin. So here you can see uh, it has an option to select different menus. Next it has an option to hide different elements on your mobile view. So I have just added this icon menu. So this is for the uh, theme menu icon which I showed earlier. Next we have enable swipe. So if you can want to like uh, enable or disable swipe. Next we have sub menu open by default. Let's check this how it looks like. So currently we have this sub menu is closed by default. So if I refresh and see. You can see my sub menus are now by default opened. So let's now jump to the other settings. I'm going to deactivate this and now the, we have some menu open by clicking on the parent. So let's check this. By default what the plugin does is when you click on any parent it will jump to that parent page. So now I have activated the like it will go to the it will not go to the parent page instead it will open the sub menu when you click on the parent you can see next we have like a search box option so there are basically three options above below or on the menu bar so i'm going to select on the menu bar and see You can see we have now a search box here and it will just perform search on your website. So now let's go to the appearance settings. So here you can add a logo for your menu. So let's go and add a logo quickly. So let me find my logo. Now we have another option like logo link so you can actually provide the link for your logo so I have just by default it is like the default home page of your website. Next we have this menu symbol position left or right I am going to put it to right and now we have menu text so this is the menu text I am going to make it blank because I added the logo so it will look better. Now we have menu open direction so currently the menu is opening from the left you can open it from the right or top so I'm going to keep that left so now we have this width below which you want to display the menu so basically below this width the mobile menu will be displayed next we have the menu width so like this is the menu width currently it is set to 80 percent now we have borders for menu items that is basically similar the borders on the menu item now let's jump to the other settings the color settings 
so basically you can change the look and feel of the menu as per your website so let's go and change some and let's go and change the search icon color also so let's save and see how it looks like So now you can see the color of the menu bar is changed and also this menu background is changed and the search icon color is also changed you can see here so now let's jump to the other settings we have here is icon settings so you can define different icons for your menu I'm going to select something so you can see So now let's go and see the icons will be changed. As you can see we have different icons here. So this is H per hour selection there and you can see the search icon is also changed. Now let's go to the other settings that is social media settings. So here you can actually add different social media icons. So let's go add some default so you can see you can add as many as you want I'm going to add two Facebook and Twitter so let's go and see how it looks like So you can see we have two icons here facebook and twitter so basically it is taking the color from the theme let's go and change the colors so from color settings you can change the color of the icons so now refresh and see So you can see the color of the icons are changed you can have these uh, social icons above or below the menu currently we have above the menu you can also select below the menu and that's all for this plugin and if you have any questions or any support uh, if you want any support then you can mail us at support at or you can visit our forum thank you